Okay, this is an update for the surgeries for Inya. We recently found out doing the MRI to get uh, the final clearances for surgery to do the spinal correction surgery. We found out that she's got spinal tethering. We went and just saw our neurosurgeon about it and we have to get that fixed before he'll give clearance for the spinal correction surgery. And what spinal tethering is, it's it's has to do with the connection of the spinal cord not the spine itself, but the spinal cord, the nerve cluster, to the base of the spine. Now, everybody's is connected, but hers is thicker and doesn't have the elasticity to let it stretch and grow right, which is caused from the scoliosis. But, I'm going to try to explain this while it's fresh in my brain the best I can. Okay, on this depiction, which was uh, drawn by the surgeon himself for us, you have the, the lumbars and the tailbone uh, this would represent the uh, end of the nerve cluster and this is the spinal cord outer sac that holds the spinal fluid and the nerve cluster well, at the very end of the nerve cluster everybody's got a small almost like a string that goes down and attaches somewhere to the base that's that's everybody's got it apparently but Everybody else's is very, very thin. Well, Inya's is thicker, so it doesn't doesn't stretch as she grows. So what they're going to have to do is go in somewhere under the nerves is they'll make a small incision in the sac. Then they will uh, go in and they'll use electric electrical current to test the uh, the string to make sure there's no nerves in it that they've all they're all above. They'll have to go in through the pieces of bone and they'll cut a piece of it out so that they're actually disconnected. They won't just cut it, they have to take a piece out so that they can't accidentally reform and won't ever have the problem. Uh, and then they'll stitch everything up, all the layers to the outside. And that's, that's the basic process. Uh, she'll have to remain completely flat for 24 hours in the hospital after the surgery then she should be released and then uh, she'll have to remain flat as much as possible laying down for about seven days uh, and that's because the stitching they use on the cord of the spinal sac it uh, you know it's it can't be a hundred percent waterproof there's no way to to seal it and they don't, you can't have the spinal fluid leaking out. But that's why you have to lay flat to keep the pressure off of it, the hydrostatic pressure. That way it can heal up before you start putting pressure on it. And the total recovery time is estimated about a month. And then we'll be able to uh, hopefully go ahead with the spinal correction surgery. We haven't heard back from the bone surgeon who uh, may want to wait a little bit longer than the minimum healing time I we don't just don't know that yet but then okay this is for anybody who don't know the uh, ori original planned surgery sorry for the dark image it's MRI uh, they'll go in and they'll take out a couple of pieces of these bones, the actual vertebrae themselves, and they'll install rods. They take the bone out so that as she grows, it's got a little bit of slack in there. Because the spinal column, the spinal cord might actually grow a little, but her torso will no longer grow. And she'll have rods in there and it just won't bend no more, but that should completely cure fix all of the spinal and scoliosis problems after that that should be a thing of the past said and done with that's if any of this is wrong sorry my bad i learned today